man, good luck reading this. <laughs> this is not the most legible bag in the universe. Hey yeah, there, everyone. This is Aokao. It's day six, I think. It's been there. Yeah, there we go. I can see it now in my phone. Yeah, it's uh, very cloudy and rainy outside. So, you know, my recording light's not so great. The lovely penguin got me this wonderful purple bag. But, oh, wait, there's something in it. I think, okay, I figured the, yeah, the, the, the bag itself was the prize. But that's not the case. Whoops. Uh, you pick. What's this? I cannot tell what this is. Penguin gummies uh, with fruit juice. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. I'm looking at the health stat. I'm looking for something very specific. Okay, that is a lot. <laughs> All right, let me just pour. Whoops, ah, I'm losing control. I lost control. Point. No letters? I don't think there's any letters. I have not found any letters or anything. And this is the bag. There's just this massive bag of candy penguins in it. And this little thing. Penguin stickers, check it out. Stickers made in China. Finally. The bag opens backward. Like, see, like, 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 this goes like, oh no, maybe not. If you look at the made in China, it's on the top. All right. But if you look at the actual, like, stickers, oh wow, there's a lot. This is a day of quantity. <laughs> Get out! Free yourself! Free yourself! Please! Just, ah, man. Yeah, a few of them were just kind of stuck in the bag, and I managed to get them out. Look at that. It's just like a whole bunch of penguins. This is an unbelievable amount of penguins. This is uh, completely exact, and they're all, like, there's difference in styles. Like, these two buddies, they're very different. Like, this is just, like, look. Doesn't matter the IP, the artist, whatever. You got something penguin-related. Give it here. We're gonna make a sticker out of it. <laughs> like, Jesus, hell. Oh. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot of little penguin guys. Like, this is just a ton. This is just a ton of little penguin guys, period. It's a, like, it's an invasion here. But it's like the good, like, it's like a weird good. It's a cuddly invasion. It's still, you know, gotta be careful. I don't know how to end this or Sieg. Sieg completed. We're on the computer now. And we're starting off with a little talk house ambush. I didn't even click on this to see if there's going to be anything I need to, like, prepare anything. I'm just like, you know what, we're just going right in. And, uh, there we go with 7TC7 with the Hoppin' Cat gift thing. Avatar. It is a season for ambushes. I don't know what August edition means. <laughs> hey, hi, Raokao. I can't believe it's already the end of August again. I know, right? This year, I have had a time. And that time was not filled with your videos as much as long as I am used to. However, the time that was filled with your videos was very enjoyable as ever. But when you start uploading like once every four days or so, your channel sure slowed down. When did that happen? I feel like I spent most of this year watching- oh. Maybe it's because you didn't like what I was playing or something? I feel like... I spent most of this year watching Vongers, and even after that was done, I still felt little cars crawling all over me. Currently it has been a hundred years since Dracula's defeat, and you know what that means. Get your wet! <laughs> it's Christmas time where you are. Dracula's defeat once again. Time zones sure are weird. In that case, happy holidays. Key being you, whatever the month or season or year. I feel like you got some little time dilation going on there, 
buddy. Real talk, I am behind on your stuff due to life being life, and for some reason, I refuse to skip anything or watch anything out of order, except your Christmas videos, I guess, because those are tradition in this household. Further, the YouTube sub box has been seeking... What? Has been sneakily deleting your videos for me? And you... Why would that happen? So it made it pretty hard to catch up for a while. I thank whatever urged you to start making playlists as they have been the lifesaver in these trying times. I mean, yeah, like, that's kind of the reason why I've been doing my own playlist now for a little while. It's just, it's a convenience for many multiple reasons. That is weird, though, how it's been removed... <laughs> From the sub box, not even like your your home feed or whatever, like the actual sub box, because that is not normal. Oh, I wish there was something. Like I wish I knew what was actually happening, so that I knew if I could do something about it. That is so weird and kind of worrying. But hey, hey, as long you know, as long as you remember to check in a while, I guess. Oh, but still, yeah, no, life is life. Time is time. Time is weird. Honestly, I really think they should patch time by now. Uh, I think everyone would agree with that. Well, thank you for the kind words. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad, you know, like, it's hearing from, you know, from, from people who've been following for, like, a long time. Like, it's, it's really touching. It's like, yeah, no, yeah, like, Merry Christmas, I guess, to you specifically. No one else. All right, we got five going on here, independent gifts, and the first person we get to see here is Zink. Dearest Raukau, hi there. I'm a new viewer, started watching earlier this year from a Copy Kitty review here on Steam that mentioned you. How does that happen? <laughs> how, how does new people find out about, about me? Like, that just seems like completely surreal. Well, hi, Zink. Uh, welcome to the channel, and I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I mean, Copy Kitty, I guess, would make sense. This is a video game, Zink. Orbo's Odyssey, huh? Hop into Orbo's shoe. Zzz. Run, jump, and drill around your boss's office. Make some new friends and uncover terrifying secrets about the company you work for in this comedically surreal 3D platformer. I mean, the thumbnail looks like claymation and that's always exciting. Once again, I wrote tr Trialer, but the game understands. Ooh, this is a pretty recent game. Alright, well... Oh boy, this is... Oh, jeez! That is, uh... An upsetting speed. <laughs> I see, I would not have imagined that's what the game is from the blurb, nor the, the, the thumbnail. Oh, this is like, what if Sonic actually sonic a little bit from time to time? And then you get like these weird, like, what is going on here? Go Orbo, calm down Orbo! I'm not even the one playing. <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. And all the penguins fell. Your character design though is a little upsetting, but I'm sure that I would get used to it, probably. I mean, it's very minimal. Like, I appreciate that. It's the face. It's like a me face, but like on this weird, like, gummy eraser little guy. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, but the trailer has intrigued me. This looks wishless now, this game that you can buy. <laughs> okay, though. Okay. No. Yeah. Um. That. That. I agree. No, there, there's something about what's going on there. That looks absolutely fantastic. Like, absolutely. And I never... I don't recall hear, hearing about it before. And then Mikko fires back. Oh, cow. I think we're far enough away from Finnish Independence Day to look at a Swedish game. Explosion, Mikko fire. Mikko fire, all right. He's, he's been sending a few things here, there. Bramble the Mountain King. Bramble the Mountain King is a grim adventure set in a world inspired by dark Nordic fables. Explore the beautiful yet dangerous and twisted lands of Bramble in your endeavor to rescue your sister. Traverse a wondrous landscape, survive deadly encounters with Bramble's many hideous creatures. Well, don't judge. Don't judge. Alright? 
Bramble and the Mountain King. I guess I would want the gameplay trailer. Yeah, I mean, that's what I want out of trailers. Is I want to see what the game is, so. Alright. Well, this is a pretty good looking game. Okay, yeah, look at that. Like, it's realistic, but also stylized. Oop. Okay. Huh. Yeah, this game is really pretty. Like, that's what strikes me the most. Are gnomes? Oh, I, that, oh, there's something really weird. Fell the way that gnome crawled over that little guy, that little boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It, was, it was like too fluid some way, like a bug. Ooh. I mean, for a gameplay trailer, I feel like I don't know if I get a sense of the gameplay all that much. But, like, this is a really sweet looking game, though. That's a pig head. For all you pig head fans, finally! Jesus hell. <laughs> oh no. Okay. It's like not not quite horror, but I mean yeah, it's because it's like it's based on like fairy tales, right? Like but like the actual ancient fairy tales. You know, back when before they sold out. Okay, no, this looks really cool. Like, this just looks legit really, really awesome. Bramble. I'm pretty sure I heard the name, but I, I don't know when or where. But that was really cool. That was really awesome. Thank you, Mako Fire. And hey, check it out, Pengi. There you go. There you are. I just opened up your bags earlier. Mr. Cow, Penguin Emote. Happy Holidays! I forgot to include a message with my physical gift to you, so have this penguin adventure too! I hope you enjoy this year's penguins, Well, it sounds like they're gonna be delicious. Penguin face, aka Pengi, aka the lovely penguin. Little penguin chill venture, so instead of ad, instead of ads, you get chills. Uh, come to Little Penguin Adventure, an exciting journey into the world of adventures! In this game, you'll become a little penguin embarking on a thrilling, Running adventure. <laughs> How descriptive. Alright, so I didn't get a any hits on YouTube. I mean, like, it's kind of a vague name, right? Oh boy. Oh, I'm getting weird Adventure Island vibe. I don't know if it's because, like, you got immediately uh, an obstacle, which is just campfire. And, and also you're collecting food, but that was a way shorter level than you'd encounter in an uh, in, uh, in Adventure Island. But here's just this buzzsaw floating in winter. You know, it's one of those winter saws. Everyone's got one of those stories around. Like, I'm not saying you're gonna have a winter saw, but whoa. Now you went to the bottom of the list. I do not understand the laws of... Uh, how things get thinged, like the order, because sometimes the order is wrong. Some, like, I don't know what the logic is, because now this was at the bottom. Well, thank you, Pengi. <laughs> Alright. Let's say Zoo was back with another tomato. Like, I was, this is what I was expecting. Like, you gave me Tomato Way 1 and 2. Let's take a look at Tomato Way 3. Wow, in 1030p. Except it's not gonna run at that here on YouTube, I know that. So apparently there's something to this series of game. Like, it's very not serious, naturally. And I mean, it's clear that the game has technical issues, given the very good frame rate <laughs> we are constantly seeing. But apparently there's something. Like, it's silly in a, in a, in a pretty wild way. I mean, yeah, like, I'm still not sure what a game- like, I mean, yeah, it's an FPS, that has remained true. I'm guessing that, you know, things have developed over time, and now we got the William Tell Overture, you know, that- That's- that's what you know, that Tomato Way 3. That's the classy one. <laughs> I 
I mean, they're going for something, and they're going for it. Like, you know, like, I just feel like one started as just, like, a joke, and then two, they're kind of building on it, and three, like, they're like, no, no. We're doubling down, and just, like, pushing and pushing and pushing. And I, I, I appreciate it. I just still have no idea. No clue if it's, like, good. <laughs> like, public domain. Nah, no, that's tricky. Like, yeah, it's public domain, but, but, but the copyright is still owned by the specific performers of that specific performance. So, uh, even if it's public domain, you gotta be careful with those musics on YouTube, but... Given that the trailer was on YouTube, I guess we'll be fine. Amya closes the day. Well, check it out. It's day six. What does that mean? Cow Rao, it's the one with the evil clown. Given your mention playing this one, I don't think I need to really say anything. You already know what you're getting here. Yeah, Final Fantasy VI, one of the rare uh, RPGs uh, that I've played and uh, that I've enjoyed. I played it thoroughly. I beat it several times. I love that game. I wouldn't be able to tell you why I love that game specifically over a lot of RPGs. Like, I do not have a formulated answer. It's just what I've always felt. The original Final Fantasy V uh, Vi, uh, comes to life. Those words repeated incessantly. And, uh, I'm... I who is the person that's in the silhouette of the Final Fantasy VI logo? I Normally, it's Terra, but that doesn't really look like Terra at all, other than the um, ponytail. But that's the wrong kind of ponytail. That's more like Edgar's ponytail? Does he have a shirt like that? <laughs> I don't know. The sprite work... We're still in the era where there's still a lot of interpretation you do with the sprite work. So, you know, people are not always going to look the same way inside people's minds. And that's the last one, because after 6, uh, there's somewhat of a console shift that happens, which will change the series forever. Thank you, everyone. And I do mean it. I mean, everyone who participates... Everyone who just has something to say, thank you, and, uh, yeah, no, for real, though, like, thank you again. Uh, I feel like thanking every day, starting to feel weird, but I just think it's the appropriate thing to do.